Today marks another volatile month of trading. Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery here to break down some of the biggest movers of the week. It has been a wild ride, my friend. Yes, fortunately, most of the volatility to the upside. And that is a net basis that we're leaving everybody on this month. Down day today, but Dow ending 14% higher. As we've been saying, the best month for the Dow since 1976. And by the way, the best October for the Dow ever, going back to 1896. Now the Nasdaq down or up uh, considerably less than that, about 4%. And you take a look inside the Nasdaq, we'll get to that in a second, uh, very kind of bifurcated market. Now all the S&P 500 sectors are in the green, energy up 25%, that's on the back of crude oil. Then you have industrials, financial, healthcare, staples, consumer staples, and materials, all of those outperforming, all of those out more, up more than 9%. Now here's that look inside the NASDAQ where we see some haves and haves not, have nots, Apple up 11%, Tesla down 14%, Amazon down 9%, Nvidia up 11%, and one of the standouts here, the big one, Meta, down 31% for the month, and that is down about 75%. Uh, from its high and I just want to show you uh, the leaders as well because here we're seeing some more haves and at least one have not the have not K web China that is its own story that has to do with President Xi assuming that unprecedented third term as a premier or as the uh, prime minister over there uh, in the forefront we have MJ that is a cannabis ETF that's up 21 percent uh, we also see some love for value stocks for gambling stocks momentum transport uh, regional banks, retail, and biotech, all of those up more than 10%, all of those uh, tracking on the above, on the top line here. Now, let's take a look at some of those energy stocks that got the top billing. ExxonMobil, Chevron, each up more than 25%. Uh, not even the best out there. We're seeing uh, some of the smaller ones like Diamondback Resources, that's up 30%. Devon Resources, that's up 28%. And looking at the banking sector, not as big a numbers, but still impressive. We got a number of earnings uh, beats here and and also a couple of uh, some some sore spots here, but J.P. Morgan still up more than 20 percent. Bank of America right behind it. Goldman stacks up over 17 percent. And uh, as I like to do, I'm just going to end on travel here. And we're seeing for the most part, except for this Chinese stock trip.com, that's down 17 percent. Some big gains. Royal Caribbean up 40 percent. United up 32 percent. I'll close with this. We are entering the midterm uh, election season here, the best six months of the year. And we'll have to see if this carries out. It is a seasonality play. But whenever we have huge Octobers, a lot of times we take a little bit of a back step in November. So lots to unpack here. Overall, a slightly bullish tilt, Rochelle, to the markets. Indeed, but obviously no match for your very fine pocket square that I noticed you did add our very own. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. reporting there. Thank you, Dave. <laughs>